Hi, hello, my name's Than, short for Nathaniel. Today, we are going to be talking about um, the Amicole light catching, wait, what is it? Okay, yes, yes, Amicole light catching highlighter <laughs> glaze, <laughs> as well as the Anastasia Beverly Hills stick blush. Is that really the name? Stick blush, just stick blush. Stick blush. <laughs> Their new stick blush. Okay, all right. Stick blush, huh, all right. And I have one shade, I got Latte. And then I also have a little sample of the new Ilia mascara, fullest volumizing mascara, volume thickness drama, arginine and pro vitamin B5. So I prepped my skin with the Dr. Elsa Jungman. I also don't know if I'm saying that right. We'll just say Dr. EJ. <laughs> so the Dr. EJ Start Over Moisturizing Serum. And this is one of the newer prizes, or the newest prize actually, crystal prize from Newness. So I got this for free, <laughs> which is really cool because this little baby right here <laughs> retails for $70 for half an ounce. So it's definitely a luxury oil. And I think it's just expensive because they use, you know, super refined or pure <laughs> oils and ingredients. It's only three things. It's squalane, pluganitia or pluganitia volubilis seed oil, and tocopherol. Let me actually look up what that is. <laughs> there was a founder stream where, um, you know, she went over this oil and things, but I missed the first half, so <laughs> I don't think I actually got, you know, the full, the full spiel, or you know what I mean? But I'm just gonna look up what this, um, Planukishia volubilis seed oil, I'll put in like a picture or whatever, whatever this plant is. Oh my god. Well, I mean, okay, it's like a star-like seed? <laughs> but anyway, so I got this from Newness. And so that's what I prepped my skin with. And I'm gonna try mixing in a drop with a foundation too. And also from Newness, I got this, the Amicole highlighter. But so there, they have three products. They have the lip oil, this highlighter, and then a skin tint. And besides the skin tint, that has six shades and they're more for like medium deep skin tones. But aside from that skin tint, um, this highlighter I'll show you is Pretty universal. <laughs> Here's the packaging. And it's sort of like a clear balm or glaze with little tiny like gold reflex. And also their lip oil looks like a gorgeous, you know, universal lip oil too. Like it's like sort of like a deep rosy brown, which looks really nice. So maybe they'll expand, expand their shades in the future, but I think the, you know, the point is that it's for deeper skin tones, so yeah. So I used a matte foundation last night in my stream on top of the oil. I used the Guerlain one, but let's try with a different one. I'm gonna use the NARS today, the NARS Soft Matte Complete. And this is a pretty matte foundation, so we'll see how it goes with the oil. With the other, with the Guerlain, I feel like it made it I mean, it's already a pretty natural looking foundation, but even though it's matte, but it really did make it a lot more skin-like. I've done this in the past with oils, and I think it does help with the blendability and stuff, but I'm just, this oil's really nice, so <laughs> I'm excited. Like that, I'm out. This is shade uh, Light One Oslo, by the way. And I'm literally just gonna do like a little tiny drop of this, and then I'm gonna just mix it with my finger. A little bit of this foundation really does go a long way, but with the oil mixed in, it is really making it blend better and spread even more. Cause you know, it, it thins it out and it looks super, super natural and like extremely skin-like. Um, for concealer, I'm gonna go with the um, Rose Ink Soft Light. And I'm gonna do the same thing that I've been doing. I use LX20 as like a peach corrector and then LX10 for normal concealing and brightening. I'm 
just taking the smallest amount of this powder, the Dior Forever Cushion Powder. Just gonna add a little bit of Vaseline <laughs> to my lips. I really, I can't live without Vaseline anymore. Um, I've been loving the Etude Contour for contouring and bronzing. This is such a nice bronzer on me, the darker shade. And also, oh, I should mention this. So in my last video, when I was talking about this, I mentioned that it was like $20, but actually on Yes Style right now, it's only $16. And it also comes with a brush. Let me show you the brush that it comes with. Really fluffy, um, synthetic brush. And it's just, you know, it's, it's fine. It's not like the, craziest best brush in the world but you know it, it does what it needs to do <laughs> okay so let's try this blush this stick blush <laughs> that's the name stick blush <laughs> okay oh my god i don't know why that is like just funny to me it's not like soft radiant luminous creamy blush stick it's just stick blush okay anyways so i have the shade latte um it has a brush on one side it's like a nudie brown i guess i'm gonna warm it up a little bit on the back of my hand Ooh, but i don't know if it needs it it seems pretty creamy i guess let me see how this brush goes. Uh, I'm gonna switch. The brush seems fine, but I just feel like it'll be best with a sponge. Okay, I really like this color. <laughs> it's, I just love the, you know, I really love the nude rosy brown. I'm gonna build it. It's blending pretty seamlessly. I think the brush was fine, but I just really prefer using a sponge for my cream blushes or my fingers. But it's a really great, almost like a bronzer on me, sort of, you know, like a blushy bronzer because it has that, I really like that red tone in my bronzers. And it does just feel like super emollient. I don't know, I, it, I just feel like it, it's really sculpting on me as well. Really like it actually, <laughs> okay. Not bad, Anastasia. Okay, so let's try this highlighting stick. So here's the outer packaging. I know I showed it before, but let's just appreciate it one more time. <laughs> I am obsessed with the bright orange. I love this little like mark here. And then when you go on the inside, it's like those shells. And it's blue, of course, blue, orange, great combo. And I also just think that the stick itself just feels nice. It's cute. And I also love the price point of these products. They're all around $20. Again, I got it for free on Newness. Another reason <laughs> to join Newness. Um, you basically just get crystals by watching streams, um, commenting in the chat, and liking other people's chat comments. <laughs> it's fun and easy to join, and you get fun prizes like this, so yeah. Again, again, this oil <laughs> that I redeemed is $70, so you can get some really good luxury gifts on there as well. Anyways, let's do this. So here it is. So you can see it's looks like translucent it has little gold flecks you can see it it just is really nice and dewy sort of shine i've worn this on my bare face a few times um but never over makeup so my concern with <laughs> these types of stick highlighters is they usually sort of rub off your makeup i'm wondering if i should try applying it just off the back of my hand and with my finger tapping it on. I'll apply it directly first and if I see even a little bit of that happening, then I'll switch to my fingers and I'll try to, or maybe my sponge and you know, we'll see, we'll see. But let's, let's go. So here's without. 
So it it's, doesn't have a sticky feeling, more of like an oil, like more of like a shiny oil. Really like a glaze, like, the, like they say. It did not remove anything. <laughs> I am extremely pleasantly surprised. It sort of melts right in and it's, it's not sticky or thick. It's definitely just sort of adding, you know, light and life and it didn't remove anything. Just really nice sheen. So this is definitely a hit, <laughs> in my opinion. And because it's clear, it's literally will go on any skin tone. So, and it has those golden flecks in it, but you know, it's not gritty at all. I guess it's like super fine particles and it doesn't necessarily, it doesn't, you can't see the golden on your skin. It sort of just, I think helps with the like reflection aspect. So you get the reflection from you know, the glaze, maybe more like oily glaze part, but then also from the flex. But it's undetectable on the skin and yeah, it's not gonna enhance texture or it will enhance texture, but not emphasize texture. There you go. I really wanna try the lip oil now because <laughs> it feels so nice. And I hope they do expand their skin tints. I know, you know, it's, you know, they're focused on deep skin, which I think is great, but I really want to try it, so. <laughs> so let's do a little eye look before we go into the mascara. I'm gonna keep it pretty simple. I'm gonna use the Cutie Palette, the Analog Cutie Palette from Nabla. And I'm just taking this Sephora Collection crease brush and I'm going into Contact Sheet, which is this sort of warm brown down here. Okay, I'm taking this rougher number 28 brush, I'm going into the same shade, and just putting that underneath. Okay, now with my finger, I'm going into overexpose, that sort of peachy gold duochrome. And then I'm gonna take 35 millimeter in the inner corner. Let's try that mascara now. So the fullest volumizing mascara. I think I tried this when I got the sample like about a month ago or something. And I don't remember my thoughts on it. I love the first one, the Limitless Lash. I love that one. So I have high expectations for this one. Um, it has a different wand. Okay, here we go. So here's my Limitless Lash trial size as well. So the Limitless Lash has a different sort of type of comb uh, applicator, comb wand with longer bristles on one side and then more spread out on the other. And this one has that more like full bodied, bristly bristly, you know what I mean? And apparently this type of mascara, you're able to sort of touch it up and build on it throughout the day. Whereas the other kind with the more like silicone applicators, you can't do that, I guess. I don't know, I haven't really tried to, haven't ever touched that mascara ever, so I don't know. <laughs> it has that, these kind of applicators all have that like airy feel going on, or you know, you can't, you can't feel the bristles touching your lashes. Okay, so here's with and without. So far, so good, I feel. Okay, this does seem to be like, like I think this does have more of an impact on the lashes than the, the Limitless Lash. It makes them a little, that does make them a little more volumized, voluminous. <laughs> I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Brows in black brown. I'm gonna 
add a little bit more of the blush. And then just the tiniest amount of the Pat McGrath powder right under the eyes and probably right under here as well. Oh, we need a lip. For a lip, I'm gonna do the One Piece X Shu Uemura um, Nudie Roseo. And I wanna add a little bit of this gloss from Pat on top. Yeah, I'm gonna add a little bit of Flesh 6 from Pat. I'm actually gonna tap a little bit of the Amicole stick. Okay, so I think that's it. Let's zoom in and then I'll, we'll go over my uh, final thoughts. You won't ever find me at a club. Cause if I ever tried to cut a rug By the time the night is done You will know that I'm a strange one I don't ever know what to do How to find a beat, how to groove But I dream about finding you You make me wanna sway And you'd say Dance with me Na dang chum chule I don't care about where or when Pick a song the next I mean, this is gonna be pretty simple <laughs> Cause I really like everything Um I feel like this oil really helped that foundation blend in really smoothly and seamlessly. And it turned it from a super matte foundation, you know, more into a skin-like foundation. Still keeping the coverage though. Like that's a pretty full coverage foundation. Um, she has another one that it's like more of an oat. It has some oat in it, which is good for like calming redness, calming inflammation. So maybe when I go through this one, I'll try out the oat one. I don't know. It is really expensive, so, <laughs> but very good. I'm really surprised by this Anastasia blush because I don't know, I just thought this was gonna be like a basic cream blush, but it honestly is just so creamy. <laughs> like so creamy. It, it, there's no, there's no work. You don't have to warm it up on the back of your hand. It just, melts like on contact, doesn't remove the foundation underneath, um, pigmented, but blends nice and buildable as well. So honestly, I think these are really good. I don't know, I, I mean, it's just really nice and I love this color. Here, I'll do a couple comparisons. This is the EVO in a world. These are super similar. The EVO seems to be like a tad lighter and a little bit more pink. You can really see the brown the more, it's more red in the Anastasia one. Yeah, so here's Bareback from Nude Sticks. So again, s very similar. I think it's closer to the, the Bareback shade than the EVO in a world. But I still feel like you can see the red a little bit more in, in the Anastasia than the Bareback or the, in a world. Pretty sl slight differences, but noticeable. 8 grams, so it's pretty comparable to all the others. The Amicole Glaze, I love this. It really just has that, you know, glow from within effect because it, like, the particles in it are super fine and you can't see them on the skin. It doesn't lift up foundation underneath, you know, there's not really blending that you have to do because it's clear. So it's just pretty no fuss <laughs> and just good just a good highlighter you know a really good natural highlighter it doesn't like dry down like i my but my skin doesn't feel sticky you know what i mean it, it really doesn't feel sticky it just feels smooth sort of like moisturizing you know and this mascara i really like too um i don't know if i like it more than the or like the limitless lash We'll see, I'm gonna keep using it, but I like it on first impression, basically. <laughs> oh, okay, so that's it. Um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and ring the bells, you're notified 
every single time that I upload a new video. Follow my Instagram, Prettier Than Graham. Uh, follow me on Newness so you're notified every single time that I'm doing a live stream. Yeah, I mean, you should really join Newness. I don't know what you're waiting on because I literally got, I mean, this is basically $100 of product that I got just for having fun with a beautiful community online. <laughs> so definitely worth checking out and all the information will be in the description box. All right, goodbye.